We are in the midst of an education funding crisis. They claim that they are keeping uh, cash per pupil the same, but every reputable body that looks at the costs in education, the Institute for Financial Studies being one of them, says that that means an 8% real terms cut because there are spending pressures that are known that are 8% more. So this cash freeze that they say is an 8% cut. And you have to bear in mind that in education institutions, practically all the spending is on staff, on teachers, on teaching assistants and other staff. So you cannot make those savings without cutting staff. And so it implies very big staff cuts in schools and colleges across the country, or there's an alternative because there are also more children coming into the system. So it might be that class sizes go up. The situation for children when they are 16 to 19 is so much worse. Since 2010, there has been a 14% cut already. And then the 8% cut I've talked about comes on top of that. Already, more than 70% of sixth form colleges have increased class sizes. More than 80% of sixth form colleges have stopped courses, including some of them stopping A-levels in sciences in some sixth form colleges. One third of sixth form college principals say their colleges will become financially unviable in the next few years. And that underlies where these plans for merger are coming from. They come not because somebody is thinking there is a more rational way of planning, of running the education. They come because people are saying we can't afford to survive separately. We have to combine to try and find some savings. I regret to tell you that there are many examples where these mergers have not saved money. The cuts to early years, to schools, to sixth form colleges and to FE, they are not an economic necessity. They're a political choice that people are making. In terms of their priorities, it's a political choice that they're making. And because I think it's a political choice, I think there's something we can do about it. I think the more noise we make, the more they will change the choices that they are making. These things are not inevitable. They said there was going to be huge cuts in the police service, in, uh, and there was enough fuss made about those cuts in the police service that they reversed them. I think we need to look at all the things that we can do to make as much noise as we can, because these are choices, and choices can be reversed. They are not necessities, and we, acting together, can save 16 to 19. Thank you.